born on February 22, 1918 in Alton, Illinois. Robert Pershing Wadlow holds a record still unbeaten to this day, the world's tallest man in modern history, whose size could be verified and attested. At 2.72 meters tall, he wasn't destined to become so tall, and even continued to grow until his death on July 15, 1940. Although his size could be impressive, he was a very nice person, and people liked him so much that he was nicknamed the Gentle Giant. Robert was the oldest child in the family. His parents, Addy and Harold Wadlow, will have four other children, two girls and two boys. In this large family, he's the only one to grow and reach an extraordinary height. However, at the time of his birth, nothing could predict it. Coming into the world with an ordinary weight of 3.85 kilograms, but he quickly began to grow to an amazing height of 1.64 meters by the age of five and was already wearing teenage clothes. When he was eight, he surpassed his father and his four younger siblings, reaching the height of 1.83 meters. In 1929, Robert took his first airplane ride towards the Barnes Hospital in St. Louis. It was during this medical exam that the family learned the cause of his rapid and impressive growth, an overactive pituitary gland which produced much higher than normal levels of growth hormone. With today's medicine, it is possible to compensate for these problems. But in 1920, none of this was possible, and surgery was far too dangerous. However, his parents do everything to give him the most normal life possible. It was difficult for him to play with his peers, but that didn't mean they ignored him. I'm Robert Wadlow, 7 feet tall, 12 years old, and I weigh 240 pounds. These boys grouped around me are in seven. They're in the same grade as I am, and they're about the same age. Uh, when I grow up, I hope to be a big man like Lindy if I can get a plane big enough. By the way, my size, size of my shoes are 25. He even became a Boy Scout at the age of 13, weighing 122 kilograms and reaching 2.24 meters. Therefore, he needs to have his uniform custom made, as well as his tent and sleeping bag. Wadlow enjoyed photography, collecting stamps, and ate five times more calories than a kid his age. For its 15th anniversary, he received the largest birthday postcard ever delivered by the Alton Post Office. My wife and Harold Jr., 16 months old, Eugene, 11 years, Helen, 13, and Betty, 9. And this is Robert. Robert is uh, 7 feet 10 inches tall, Oh, he's 360 pounds. He's 15. Three years later, he graduated from high school and enrolled in Shirtliff College to study law. At that time, he was 18 years old, reached 2.54 meters tall, and weighed 177 kilograms. It's during this year, 1936, that Robert Wadlow gained popularity by working with the Ringling Brothers Circus. This quiet man uses his newfound celebrity status to make money from his public appearances. During an interview, he was asked if he minded being stared at, and replied, No, I just overlooked them. He became the tallest man in the world, and entered history in 1937. The following year, at age 20, Robert and his father traveled for the International Shoe Company on a promotional tour. In return, the company makes him shoes for free, which is a real bargain for Robert, who had feet 47 centimeters long, the largest feet ever seen. His shoes could cost up to $100, that's $2,000 in today's money. During this goodwill tour, they traveled over 300,000 miles, visiting over 800 cities and 41 states. The family car even had to be modified so that Robert could fit inside. His condition caused him to suffer from weakness and lack of feeling in his legs and feet, so Robert Wadlow was forced to wear braces and a cane to help him walk. He refused to use a wheelchair, and wanted to stand on his own two feet as long as he lived. He previously had health problems at the age of 17, when he was hospitalized for eight weeks due to an infection caused by a shoe pad designed to support the arch of his foot arches. Eight men and a reinforced stretcher were needed to transport Wadlow to the hospital. Sadly, it's one of his braces that will cost him his life following an infection due to a defective device that will cut his right ankle. On July 4, 1940, Doctors put Robert in a hotel bed as they couldn't find suitable accommodation at the local hospital. After an emergency surgery and blood transfusions, the infection persisted. At 1.30 am. On July 15th, 
Robert Wadlow died in his sleep, at only 22 years old. He measured 2.72 meters and weighed 199 kilograms at his time of death. The Alton giant's body was brought back to his hometown of Alton for burial. A custom-made coffin way spilt for him. It weighed 450 kilograms and required at least 16 pallbearers to carry. The funeral home was open for two consecutive days and nights to allow people to view Robert's body. After that, his family made the decision to destroy most of his belongings to prevent them from being collected and displayed as monsters or giants' souvenirs. This is also why his burial vault was sealed with concrete, to prevent anyone from trying to exhume his body. In 1985, a life-size bronze statue of Robert Wadlow was erected in his hometown, immortalizing the Alton giant forever. There are also a number of real-size models of him in a variety of museums across the world. Today, the tallest living man is Sultan Kosen, who is currently 2.51 meters tall.